Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install the offload plugin on a WordPress website. This offload plugin will help me offload all the images and documents on my website to the cloud storage. All the images and the documents and the files will be saved on the cloud storage such as Amazon AWS. It will be served directly from the cloud storage network. So on this website, I have installed this offload plugin and all the images that you see on this website are served directly from the Amazon AWS cloud storage. So this is the domain of the website. However, if I go to the image and if I open the image, you will see that the URL of this image is from Amazon AWS. So this image is offloaded to the cloud network and it is served directly from the cloud storage. So this is going to help me reduce the space on my hosting server because all the files and documents will be served directly from the Amazon cloud storage. So this will help me increase the speed of the website because all the files and images are saved on the cloud storage. It will be like cloning of my website on different servers. In this case, I'm using the Amazon AWS service the free Amazon AWS service and all the images and files are saved on the cloud network. So let's see how we can use this offload plugin to store all the images on the cloud storage. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using WooCommerce on this website. This is a dummy website and on this website, I'm going to install the offload plugin, which will help me to offload the media files of this website to the Amazon AWS S3 server. All the media files will be offloaded to the CDN network. So it will definitely help me to improve the speed of the website. So I'm going to show you how to install this offload plugin and how it is going to improve the speed and the performance of your website. We will go through all the installation process step by step. So let me first show you the website of the plugin that I'm going to use. So this is the plugin that I'm going to use next three offload. I'll give you the link of this website in the description box. You can visit this website using the link in the description box. Let me give you the introduction to this plugin. Make your website even faster with offload WordPress plugin. You can see all the features and benefits of this plugin on this website. Better customer engagement, improve your search engine rankings, reduce the bounce rate, enhance the conversion rate. Now, why should you offload your media files? Clean server space. So when you offload your media files to the cloud network, you can clear the space on your hosting server because all the media files will be offloaded to the cloud network. Load page faster, backup for website, better website cloning, easy to manage cloud, transfer media, upload files. So this plugin is going to do all the work, speed up your site, files, usability, compatibility. So this plugin is compatible with WooCommerce, EDD, BuddyPress, WP Rocket and CDN service. If you're using WP Rocket to improve the page speed, it is going to work with WP Rocket also. How does this work? So offload the existing media to the cloud network and this plugin is going to rewrite all the URLs automatically, remove the files from the server and speed up your website. Setup is quick and painless. You can remove the files from your local server. So there is an option to remove the file. You can also download the files from the cloud network. So next three offload is compatible with the following third party plugins such as Elementor, WooCommerce, WPML, DB Builder, WP Rocket, Total Cache is also there. You can compare the features with other competitors like WP Offload Media, Smash Pro, Next3 Offload. You can see the pricing difference between these three. Let me show you the pricing also. So here you can see the pricing is $99 and this is for the lifetime. If you want annual, it will be $49 for single site. This is for the single site. All right here you can see the amazon s3 pricing so if you are using amazon s3 service then you will definitely need to pay something to amazon s3 service also these are the nominal charges you can open the account with the free and you can get up to 5 gb storage for free so i guess that is enough for a small or medium website and 100 gb data transfer 
for the free account and even if your website is big then also the charges the amazon charges i think are very nominal you can see the pricing here i'll give the link in the description box also now let's start with the installation of the plugin so here i am on the dashboard of the wordpress website and i'm going to install the plugin so click on add new go to plugins and click on add new i have already downloaded the plugin so i'm going to upload the plugin click on install now now meanwhile uh, let me show you the speed of this website the current speed of this website so i'll go to google page speed this is the link page speed insights and we will first check the speed of this current website so you can see the speed of this website 53 rating for the performance this is for the mobile let's go to desktop and you can see the performance is better on the desktop 84 all right let's close it the plugin is installed click on activate plugin okay now here you will see the option next three offload click on it now i need to enter the license key so i do have the account i have this plugin and this is the dashboard from where i can download this plugin and i can see the license key so go to your account on this website and this is the plugin go to license and i'm going to find the license key now before that i need to enter the domain of the website on which i'm going to use this plugin so let me enter the domain click add domain okay it says the domain is added successfully go to license now let me copy the license key click ok and i'm going to use this license key here okay so the license has been activated now this is the next step now we have three different options aws s3 digital ocean spaces and google cloud storage right now only aws s3 is available these two options are upcoming now here you will see the option define access key in wp config so now here we need to enter the access key id for the aws s3 settings and the secret key id so if you do not know how to get it we will go through that also so here i can see documentation so i'm going to open this documentation here here you will see the same screen now we need to create an account on aws that is amazon web service if you already have then you can click here and sign into the account if you do not have aws account then you can create a new one so i'm going to sign up here it says get started for free so i'm going to use this one create a free account so I'm going to add my email address here here you can enter your AWS account name you can create a new one a verify email address so it will send the verification code I need to verify it so I'm logged into my email account and I can see the verification code here so I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to paste it here click on verify okay so the the email address has been successfully verified now we need to create a password now i need to enter the password here so i'm going to create a new password okay so i need to enter the details here i agree to the terms and condition and click continue okay so here i'm going to use the personal account and then click continue okay so i need to pay something i guess we need to pay one dollar to create an account here so i'm going to enter the credit card details here so i can enter the pan number here okay so it is going to send sms i need to enter the sms so this is a kind of verification process Right, so I need to select the plan so I'm going to select the free one okay so it is done so go to the management console so here I'm logged into the dashboard of the Amazon web services that is aws.amazon.com we have just created an account on this service now we are going to create a user which will allow the website to use the s3 services on Amazon where all the files or the images will be stored and it will be served from this cloud storage 
we will be using S3 services. Now we need to create IAM user account. So here at the top, you will see search. In the search, you can type in IAM. And this is where we are going to create an user. So click on it, IAM. So right now we do not have any user here. In the left hand panel, you will see users, click on it. And now we are going to create a new user. Click on add users. Here you can enter the name for the user. So this will be the name, whatever name you want, you can enter the name here. This is the user we are going to use for the website upload. Click next. Now we need to set the permissions. Here select the option attach policies directly. And here search for Amazon S3. And you will see this option, Amazon S3 full access. Check this one. So this is the permission policy that we are going to attach. At the bottom, click on next and click on create user. Do, you do not need to make any changes here. Click on create user. All right, so the user has been created. Now click on it and you will see the details of this user. We need to add the security credentials. So go to security credentials. And here you will see create access key. Click on it, select the first option, command line interface, check the box and click next and click on create access key. Now we have got the access key ID and the secret access key. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to save it. As of now, I'm going to save it on the notepad and we will add that to the website. Copy the secret access key also. Now here you can download the CSV file and save the access key on your computer. Click on done. You haven't viewed or downloaded the secret key. So I'm just going to click continue. You can save it on your computer. All right. So we have got the access key. Now let's go back to the website. And here we are going to add the access key ID and the secret key. So I'm going to copy it. Enter the access key ID. and enter the secret access key. We are on the next three offload dashboard. Click next. So we are on the next step. Now we need to create a bucket where all the files will be saved. Right now we do not have any buckets created. So we are going to create a new bucket for the next three offload. So I'm going to click on create new bucket. So this is the region it shows. So I'm not going to make any changes here and I'm going to add a name for this bucket. So this will be the name and I'm going to click on create new bucket. All right. So the bucket has been created and it has gone to the next step. So we are on the settings page of this plugin and here you will see different settings, tools, active license, add on live demos. So let's see all the settings of this plugin. So on the settings, you will see the details provider is AWS S3 that we are using. And this is the bucket name Param Freelance that we just created. This is the preview URL. Now here you will see copy files to cloud bucket. All right, so it should be enabled. A rewrite media URLs, it is enabled. Force HTTPS, that is also enabled. And copy to WP media library, it is disabled. Now this is the folder info. So the files that you are uploading to this folder will get uploaded to the bucket. Format, if you want to add year, month, you can add the year and month in the URL. File management, offload, multiple MIME types, format to cloud. Remove files from server. If you want to remove the files from your server, you can enable this option. And if you want to remove the files from cloud, you can enable this option. So I'm not going to change these options as of now let's go to tools now upload your existing media library click on it it will start offloading all your media files to the storage to the cloud storage if you want to offload individual you can select individual let's click on it and let's try this one so i'm going to click on it copy files to upload to cloud tools this is move offload media to local storage. So it will get back to the local storage. 
clean offload files from your local storage. So if you want to delete all the files from the local storage, you can clean it from here. This is reset and reset settings, active license, add-ons and live demos. So let's start offloading. So I'm going to click OK. So it will take some time to offload all the media files to the cloud storage. So all the files have been offloaded to the Amazon AWS service and here you can see that 100% media files has been offloaded. Congratulations. So it shows here. Uh, let's go to file manager here and let's see if we can see the files here. So this is the file manager of the AWS. So it's showing the files from the Amazon services. So this is the folder that has been created. And you will see all the files here. There are many different files, so it will show all the files. Let's go back to settings. We are on the settings. Let's save the settings here. All right now, let me go to aws.amazon.com. This is the bucket. We are on the S3 services. If you do not see the service here, you can simply click on it. Here you will see S3 service. You can go to S3, then go to buckets. So this is the bucket that we have created. And you will see the folders here. If I go to the folder that it's created. Here you will see all the files that are offloaded. And this is the file that is offloaded. Let's go back. Here 2022, we have some files here. So open this file and this is the file this is the image let's go back to website and let's go to the website page on the home page let me clear the cache if i scroll down i can see some images here let me right click on it and open image in new tab here you will see the url of the image is from the AWS service. So it is now using the files which are stored on the Amazon cloud service. Let me open another file here. This is an image of the product. Right click on it. Open image in new tab. And here again you will see the URL of this image and it is using the image from the aws.amazon.com the cloud storage. So this is going to reduce the burden on your hosting server. All the files and documents will be served directly from the AWS cloud storage. Now let's see the speed of this page and I'm going to test the speed of the home page. So this is how you can offload all the images and documents of your website to the cloud storage. You can start with the Amazon free storage account and if your site is bigger and if you have a lot of traffic on your website then you may need to upgrade to the paid plan for the Amazon AWS service. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.